My research focuses on mobility. I consider it historically and theoretically. I understand mobility as a social resource that is not freely available to everyone, but rather socially distributed. And so I'm interested in trying to think through how that process of social distribution works. And I like to sort of think about mobility in relation to printed material and written discourse, but also in terms of other kinds of material culture, so mass culture, postcards, things like that. I think that I came to this sort of material initially out of a real fascination with uh, cultures of travel and thinking about travel writing. One of the prevailing narratives that uh, we can still see in mythologies about U.S. culture have to do with the romance of travel. So the open space, the move towards the frontier, particular ideas about being on the road uh, as themselves connected with certain understandings about liberation. I focus on how mobility serves as a social and political resource and how its distribution is contested as a source of struggle. So in the instance of U.S. slavery, we see mobility as something that uh, people sometimes endure through the slave trade without necessarily choosing it or not, and then need to struggle in order to redefine the conditions under which they might move or not move. Think about global migration uh, as itself an example of a certain sort of forced or necessitated travel. And, and climate disaster will will produce that, ecological difficulties will produce that more and more in the future, uh, but also political conditions and social conditions in the world produce that as well. Thinking hard about questions of resource culture, about the kinds of problems that we face in relation to uh, the use of fossil fuels, and the, also the problems that we face in trying to think our way through the issue of fossil fuels, uh, are very much connected to ideas about mobility as a social resource, a political resource, and as something that uh, serves as a kind of site for struggle. The possibilities for uh, graduate study are really exciting in relation to this. There's a critical mass of people who are doing this sort of work in this department. Researchers in humanities-based disciplines have something really valuable to contribute to conversations about uh, energy, about ecology, about the future. Our project imagines that qualitative, speculative, uh, creative research has an awful lot to contribute to uh, the work of solving these urgent problems. <laughs>